sad news came out of the paddock today that Lewis Hamilton, ahead of the British Grand Prix, has announced his retirement from the sport. Hello and welcome back to my F1 2021 Williams RTG career mode. Here today for part 21 for my home Grand Prix at the British Grand Prix. Here's the Young grid superstar and we'll get into Max it. Verstappen starts from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Ricardo, Lando Norris, and Bottas, Leclerc, Sainz, Gasly, and George Russell, Brown, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel, and Stroll, Ocon, Joe. Antonio Giovinazzi and Mick Schumacher, Lundgaard and Nikita Mazepin. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So 11th isn't too bad, not normally that quick round here. As you can see from the weather radar, it's meant to rain right at the end of the Grand Prix. When that will come, I don't know. I was going to hang it out in the medium, but so I had to go with the soft. Here we go then. We're underway for the British Grand Prix. The two Red Bulls get away well. We're going to try and look to the inside, but it's pretty much flat out. Turn one, so it's always difficult. Side by side with George Russell. We send it down the inside, and we're going to push George um, Sainz right off the track because of scenes that happened in the last episode of the career mode. We're now on the back of Charles Leclerc and can we get past the Monocast down the inside into Brooklyn's? Yes, we can. And now it's going to come back at us though through Luffield and now through Woodcut and towards Cops we go. But he's going to try and come at us then in the next lap, lap two, and he's got the job done on us through Maggots and Beckett's. Fair play. That is a decent move. But we were told, Jeff told me, that Lewis Hamilton does have an issue, which is such a shame, of what is his final British Grand Prix. As he gets mugged by one McLaren. And then next up behind him is Lando Norris, who's about to recreate what happened in real life when Hamilton overtook him tried to go down the inside and he does complete the move and now his teammate Bottas is lurking in the wings but he's not giving up in, um, against Lando Norris and he's still pushing to try and stay ahead through Chapel onto the hangar straight he does have to give up and now Valtteri Bottas just a double toe pulls to the inside Lewis has lost now and now Bottas is going for it with Lando Norris down into the Vale chicane and I've decided not to switch cameras so we can't see what's happening but Bottas just holds on in the end to take that position and then Hamilton just started dropping like a stone so here is Charles Leclerc battling away around the outside and he's got the job done on Lewis Hamilton and behind you may or may not have seen that George is coming up and trying to attack us and I kind of I wanted to let it let him through and I decided to let him go because I'm just gonna end up holding him up in this race and at the end of the day I'm currently P8 and P9 so for the team's sake they're the same points as here comes George down the inside of Lewis Hamilton. You see us working it, um, lurking in the wings. We were just trying to sit here, wait for any scraps that might occur as George goes around the outside of his um, teammate in real life now. It's round the outside of the cops, it goes. And now I tried to think about it. Through. Maggots and Beckett's and with in fact Lewis announcing his retirement does this pave the way for George to move up and leave us 
in Williams. And now down the hangar straight, it's hard to then to try and overtake Hamilton. We go down the inside into Stowe. And we get the job done on Lewis Hamilton. And next up is Pierre Gasly in the Alpha Tari. Easy pickings, and this is such a shame for Lewis Hamilton because he deserves to be up there. And then here comes Carlos Sainz down the inside. And it's job done again nearly. Hamilton is fighting it though this time. On the exit through Maggot M3 um, Leffield through Woodcut. And now who's backing out as we go towards Cops? As either of them no. They go side by side for the cops. But Lewis is just too far back and has to back out of it. Now through Magnus and Beckett's. There you go. But Yuki Sonoda now around the outside of Brooklyn's job done. And all this time we were just sat on the back of George. I didn't want to overtake him. I thought he had the pace but we were just kind of sat here. Pete Gasly after he overtook Hamilton was just kind of lurking couldn't really get close and now on to lap 12 and George Russell pits before this um, the lap before this lap 11 Pete Gasly made his stop so he's trying to do the undercut on us try and get closer to us and when George comes out the pits there is Pete Gasly only just behind George and George we were about second, second and a half at the road so that's what wonders for being Gasly so one lap later into the pits we come to make our one and only stop of the Grand Prix we're probably going to lose out here but we'll see where we come out just been giving us weather updates um, for the rain it looks pretty sunny but this is British summertime anything can happen but we do get beaten out by George Russell and Pierre Gasly and with a couple of seconds behind but and Gasly now sticking with George and George wasn't looking that quick on these medium tires so I knew I had to get close try and defend George and stop him from being overtaken by Gasly but it was too late as Gasly goes down the inside of Stowe and now in Salvejo they're side by side we nearly clip Gasly's rear left tyre go on George keep it pinned from the outside he's still there but George couldn't stick it and I knew Gasly was going to get away so I sent it on George through Abbey got the job done and now went after Gasly try and get the positions back try and get P7 back in this Grand Prix but George just, just was just dropping like a stone and I thought that I, at the time that I damaged his front wing because um, when, I, when I overtook him because he had just no pace on those soft tyres you can see me and Gasly just going through Science has just overtook him and now Hamilton, he, his car seems to have fixed itself because he's found some pace again. As we go down the inside, took a few laps and overtake Pierre Gasly and set after Charles Leclerc. And, and going through um, cops. And this is why George was struggling because his engine's given up. And that's not good because that's another engine issue which is that's our third of the season and it's only race five so that's not good at all George is out and on lap 21 you can see the skies and you can see the rain on our car and literally look a couple laps later look how wet it is this reminds me of last year's race in Sochi when Lando Norris didn't pit for the Inters look how wet it is if this is any other lap we would be in inferences but I'm just going to let this play out this last lap you see some of the mistakes and how hard it was 
on this last lap of the Grand Prix. So it was a win then for Max Verstappen you saw on that last lap how much I was struggling couldn't, couldn't get the car out of the final corner just lit at the rear tyres and just drifting out of club but another one too for Red Bull since they hit each other in Imola they have been absolutely unstoppable this season so here's your result then, George retiring from the Grand Prix, not good, especially his home Grand Prix as well. It's not really been a good day for the British drivers. We've finally got points, back to back points, back to back P7s. Here's the constructors, we've actually managed to jump George after two points finishes in a row. So after he was carrying us, the team in the first opening rounds We've caught up with him and we've actually jumped him. You can see where we are in the constructors, currently P6, that's good. So, the R&D then, here we go, we're just going to do some upgrades on the chassis side. Most of the ones that have got a discount on them, to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much this Grand Prix. Very eventful, dramatic at the end. A bit more dramatic than how Canada ended. It's a summer break now, I'm going into Belgium, we'll see what we can do. But until that video, goodbye.